All right, well, let's back this up. All right, so since I ain't got shit else to do, my train doesn't come until 3 a.m. and it is only 12.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I'm here, um, right here outside of Madison Square Garden. Just got finished um, leaving after watching uh, Crawford versus Diaz. And I gotta say, um, Felix Diaz stunk up the joint. As far as, okay, put it this way, it's not that the fight was boring or that it wasn't entertaining. It's just that um, he fought the wrong fight. Now, I came into this fight with the impression that he was going to be the mover and he was going to be the one um, having m more so. I thought that Terrence Crawford was going to have to cut off the ring. Instead, we saw that Terrence Crawford was the one doing a lot of moving and that Felix Diaz was having issues cutting off the ring. You see what I'm saying? So is some is 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 situations um like that when you look at the when you look at the height of felix diaz he's five foot five right when you look at the fact that uh terence crawford fought the whole fight southpaw you know so you have to wonder um what was the game plan of felix diaz now the fight was stopped in the 11th round his corner stopped the fight because Felix Diaz just couldn't hit Terrence Crawford. And there were some clean shots that were getting through. But if you noticed, the majority of the shots that Felix Diaz was throwing, he was lunging. And you could tell he was getting frustrated because after a while, Terrence Crawford literally started making him look stupid. By the way, I'm Tissue Controversy. This is Tissue Controversy Live. We're here, right? Smack dab in the middle of Manhattan. Um, doing my best to make sure I get to these fights and covering, especially if they're in New York. You know, there's no reason for me to miss these New York fights. I'm very tired. It's been a very long week, but at the same time, guess what? You know, this shit I'm doing right here is not nothing these New Yorkers aren't used to. So I'm making sure that I stay my black ass in the light because this one, the freaks come out down here. So um, now, if you got a chance to see the post-fight interview between um, Terrence Crawford um, and Max Kellerman, he said that he wants Pacquiao. You know, but it's not up to him. He called out Keith Thurman. And I forgot who else that it was. It was somebody else. Oh, Julius Ndongu, IBF champion, was in the building. This is what I don't understand. Um, there wasn't a post-fight press conference for this fight. So you would think, I, I, don't, I don't know what was going on, but we had no chance as far as media unless I missed something. And I made sure I hung around in the building late. Unless I missed something, there was no way for us to, like, get, um you know like interviews with the fighters you know so moving forward um this is my first top rank event this is my first fight um in the garden so i wasn't you know used to the lay of the land so i could see that there's still some things that um you know i have to learn as far as when it comes to uh covering fights in this venue so what i'm going to do is sometime in the next i guess uh, well you're probably not going to see this video you know, until 12, maybe 14 hours or some shit after it's um, after I recorded it, you know. So I do have to say that I got to stop underestimating Terrence Crawford. It's not that I've been underestimating him. It's just that every fight he shows us how good he is. Dude is really good. And you can notice that he's starting to get a little cocky in there, you know, by saying that he wanted to do what it, uh, that he wanted to do, um, uh, that he did what he wanted you know so i noticed that um i noticed that you know you have a lot of new yorkers just like watching me like i'm doing something well i am kind of like the only one sitting in like this little you know whatever this is outside of the garden you know but a lot of people acting like i'm doing something that new yorkers haven't done before like they just don't see people walking around with selfie sticks and just recording dumb shit every day you know so um now it's time for crawford to take some real tests now at the press conference earlier this week he was saying that um, he's going to start looking at options at 147 pounds because, frankly, he can't get fights at 140. You know, now Julius Ndongu was in the building, but what's the point of fighting Julius Ndongu, you know, for real, for real, if you're not getting that IBF title? I understand that he beat Ricky Burns. You know, I understand that. Um, who did he win the title from? I forgot, man. Oh, Troyanovsky. You know, but at this point in time, like, what's the real, real point, you know, in... In, in 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 fighting him if you're not going to be able to get you know your hands on that um on that title you know so like i said you know terrence crawford i do have to give him more respect that i've given him you know but then again i'm not gonna i'm not gonna set myself up for, up, up for that because i've always given terrence crawford a lot of credit and a lot of respect it's not any fights that i said terrence crawford was going to lose you know that that i never said he was going to lose so um 
I don't want to waste my battery and also I want to do like a live stream to be able to talk about these fights but I want to find like a nice little section here in New Crazy Ass New York to be able to do it so I'm um, T Street Controversy this is T Street Controversy live we are reporting live from um you know as you can see you know um we we came to New York from Madison Square Garden and now it's time to um you know start finding some shit to do because I got a whole two and a half hours before my train comes and I'm not going to be um, home for like another four and a half hours or some shit like that. The train ride is about an hour, you know, and 15 minutes. But it takes me about an hour and 45 minutes to get, you know, home overall. Like once I get off the train, you know, um, it takes a half an hour to get home. You know, not even that really. About 15 minutes, like, you know, with the Uber. But anyway, um, I'm Tissue Controversy. This is Tissue Controversy Live, live from um, Manhattan. Please subscribe or the links to my social media or right down below in the description box and it's getting cold as shit out here. Teacher controversy, teacher controversy live.